Today's story is a pretty strange one. Back in 2005, Motley Crue appeared on an American television network to promote their anthology album at the time, but the whole appearance ended with the band turning around and suing the television network for hurting their album and concert sales and violating their free speech rights. Let's explore what happened in today's video. On December 31st, 2004, Jay Leno's Tonight Show on NBC held a New Year's Eve episode with Motley Crue as the musical guest. The band was promoting their anthology album called Red, White & Crew. The band would perform two of their classic songs that night, including Girls, Girls, Girls and Dr. Feelgood. And during Molly Crew's performance of Girls, 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 frontman Vince Neil turned to drummer Tommy Lee and used an expletive as you can see here. Of course, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, who is responsible for monitoring the broadcast airwaves, received viewer complaints after the performance that realistically could have probably been counted on one hand. Fearing the wrath of the federal government who could have fined the network, or worse, removed their licenses, or held up existing licenses they put in applications for, NBC quickly banned Molly Crew from any future appearances on the network. By this point in time, the band was already set to appear on Carson Daly's Late Night Show, but that appearance quickly got scrapped. Molly Crew contended that they tried to issue a statement apologizing for the slip-up, but was blocked by NBC's brass from doing so. While Leno's show that night was recorded as a live broadcast for the East Coast where the F-word was heard by viewers in that time slot, other time zones didn't hear the expletive as they saw a read broadcast and the F-word was edited out. Five months after the incident in May of 2005, Motley Crue filed a lawsuit against NBC seeking punitive damages for hurting the band's record in ticket sales. The lawsuit alleged NBC's decision and I quote, interfered with the band's ability to secure optimal concert bookings, sponsorships, and co-branding relationships. The band would claim frontman Vince Neil was and I quote, caught in the exuberance of the moment. While bassist Nikki Six would put out a statement around the time of the lawsuit saying, We meant no harm, but it feels like we're being singled out unfairly. This is a discrimination issue, pure and simple. The lawsuit also questioned why NBC announced that drummer Tommy Lee would appear by himself in an upcoming television reality show called Tommy Lee Goes to College, despite the ban. Motley Crue's lawsuit alleged that the network censored the group as a whole to please the federal government, so no actions would be taken against NBC. The band's lawyers pointed to U2, System of a Down, and John Mayer for having similar slip-ups, but not facing the same consequences. In fact, the band's lawyers zeroed in on Bono's acceptance speech at the Golden Globe Awards two years prior, where he used the phrase effing brilliant when receiving a Golden Globe for the band's contribution to the film Gangs of New York. By the way, I've done a whole video on this incident, it's down in the description box below. U2 would walk away from that incident unscathed, as did NBC. In fact, at the time in 2003, NBC even went out of their way to defend Bono for claiming the use of the F-word was, and I quote, isolated and fleeting. You have to remember though, something important happened in 2004 that caused the FCC to seriously crack down on what they considered to be indecency as a whole, and that happened after the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show with Janet Jackson after her nip slip. The problem with the whole thing was that the federal government didn't have an exact definition of what constituted indecency, and up until 2004 the rules for late night programming had always been a little looser since it would be less likely that children would be watching. According to the FCC, the F word shouldn't be used on radio or television programs when children could be watching or listening, and the same rule didn't technically apply to the hours of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., as the FCC during those time slots would evaluate complaints on a case-by-case -case basis. Of course, after the Janet Jackson slip-up, any use of the F-word or profanity was heavily scrutinized and considered indecent. NBC would end up issuing a statement responding to Molly Crew's lawsuit saying, To ensure compliance with his broadcast standards, NBC has the right to decide not to invite back guests who violate those standards and use an expletive during a live entertainment program. The lawsuit Molly Crew has filed against us is meritless. The lawsuit would appear to be settled out of court, and the ban would be lifted years later when Molly Crew appeared on Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Story Sticker.